Yeah, so I got back from uh, the US. I think I was back for two days and I was enjoying myself, eating some KFC and at my kitchen table and I got a call from a manager saying that uh, they just had the UFC fighter meetings and also the UFC meetings um, and yeah, they want you to fight for the title. So I was uh, obviously surprised um, and a few things went through my head. Number one was my dad predicted that this had sort of happened so I had, and I called him an idiot at the time so I sort of had to apologise to him and the second was do I finish the KFC or do I uh, get on my diet straight away but ultimately I decided to yeah, finish the KFC and deal with my weight after. Yeah, well, yeah, it's, um, yeah, well, obviously he was correct. He just thought Makaya's performance wasn't the most exciting. Mine was, and all the other contenders in the division sort of had a reason why they probably couldn't fight. So, um, yeah, he was kind of spot on. Yeah, I've been watching Pantoja, yeah, well before he got to the title. Um, I thought he was a very good fighter, obviously, and I see myself fighting most of the people in the division anyway. So, yeah, I definitely saw the fight happening, and, um, yeah, it's, it's come around for a title shot, so I'm excited for it. Yeah, I think his biggest attribute is his like determination and his like his unwavering will. He's gonna no matter what's happening in the fight, if he gets tired, if he's hurt, whatever, he's gonna be looking for a way to win the fight. And um, he's obviously got a lot of technical skill to back that up. I just think on the feet particularly, I'm a lot cleaner than he is, and um, I can walk him on the shots and yeah, win the fight. Yeah, I think I match up well. Um, I think he is likely to be stronger than I am, but I'll yeah be better and be able to use my range on the feet. I think on the ground, I scramble really well, so I think I can scramble with him, and if I'm on top, I'm a problem for anybody. So um, I think, yeah, I think I'm a problem for him. Yeah, for the Brazilian crowd that don't know me, I'm always looking for a finish, so I'm not satisfied going the distance. I'll be trying to find a way to get him out of there early. Um, it's going to be exciting, it's going to be a war, and I can't wait. Yeah, so I got here two and a half weeks early, I guess, just to make sure that, yeah, the time zone wasn't a factor, the weather wasn't a factor, that sort of thing. And, yeah, just as far as preparation goes, I was doing a lot of uh, a lot of shark tanks and a lot of rounds, obviously replicating the fight. So five, five-minute rounds, had fresh people coming in every round. Um, for the shark tanks, every 30 seconds, I had fresh people coming in. It was grueling, it was really hard, but um, because of all that, I'm super confident that I'll be able to go five fives in the cage. Obviously I respect, oh sorry, what do I expect? Yeah, I expect um, I expect them to be very anti-me and very pro Fantosia. So a lot of people yelling at me saying, oh, on my hair. And um, yeah, after the win, I expect something similar to Moreno where he got bottles thrown at him and that sort of thing. But um, that doesn't phase me. It's honestly exciting for me. I, I, I love the passion. I love, I love the, uh, I love the, yeah, the nationalism. Um, so yeah, excited for it. Yeah, I've thought about it a lot and obviously I flip-flopped a little bit. I originally thought that I was going to knock him out, but he's a very tough guy. Um, he's going to keep finding a way to stay in the fights. So I think I'm going to hurt him and like, walk him under shots, but I ultimately think it's going to go five rounds and to a decision. Yeah, I mean, winning the belt is like validation of all the hard work and all the belief that everybody else and my, like end up what I've had in myself. Um, I think more than anything, I've wanted to just be the toughest guy in the world and so the belt is cool but beating a guy like Pantoja in Brazil in his home country I think that's that's more special than anything else.